Okay. So, slope. Slope is equal to, uh, the slope right over here, this formula right here, is m as our slope, because m is for some reason equal to slope. Don't know why, but that's what they decided. Uh, so the slope is equal to rise over run. <clears throat> so what we can think of this as is we have y, we have our second y point minus our first y point, or our first y point minus our second y point. That's what I always did, but you can do it either way. doesn't matter. Over our run, which is how much our x changes. So basically you can think of this as our change in y over our change in x. So we have this problem right over here. Find the slope of the line passing through the following points. P, which point P, which is one. Uh, y is equal, or y is equal to, hold on. X is equal to one, or y is equal to negative one. And then, uh, for and then x is equal and then point q, x is equal to negative two and y is equal to five. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up and we're just gonna copy that down. So we've got point p is equal to one and then minus one. And then we have point q. That's another p. Point Q, Q, there we go, is equal to negative 2 over, or negative 2, 5. Okay, so, and then we're just going to also copy down this formula of Y initial, well, I'm going to copy it down the way I learned it, instead of what Google tells you. X first minus x second. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just plug in these numbers pretty much. So we know that our first x point is 1. It says right here, our first point is p. So we're going to have 1, and what is the other x? Well, the other x is a negative 2. It's a negative 2. Well, since we have two negatives here, this is actually not a, this is actually not minus 2. This is because the negatives cancel out, so we get a plus 2 down here. And then we take our y for that point our y for that point, and we subtract it by our y for the second point. So our second point, so y is 5, so we've got negative 1 minus 5, that's going to give us a negative 6, and then we have 1 plus 2, which is 3, so we got that equal to negative 6 over Three, which is equal to a negative 2. So we go ahead and we check our answers. And then we've got that. We can submit that and we get it right. So that's basically kind of how you do slope. It's pretty simple. You re really just plug stuff into the equation of that. It's just change in y over change in x. That's all it is. So I hope this was helpful, and good luck next time on your math test.